guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. My neighbors are gonna think I'm crazy because I'm standing outside, but the lighting is good and it's actually really pretty. So this is a comparison against two mid-range devices, but with a year difference. This is the LG Rebel 4, and this is the A10e, which I don't know what the E stands for, I'm guessing entertainment. Um, LG Rebel 4, released in 2018, and has a... Okay guys, um, me big dum dum. This, I was reviewing the wrong phone, like I, I didn't, I, I got the model wrong. So yeah, I'm gonna have to read the specs on screen here. It has a 5.3 inch 720p display, oh sorry, no, not 720p, 1080p display, 8 megapixel rear camera, and a 5 megapixel front camera. Snapdragon 425 SoC with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. And the battery is 2880 milliamp hours with no IP rating and it is about 168 grams. Pretty promising. Now, let's talk about the A10e, released one year later, and has a lot, 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 a lot more. I had to shut my door because the dog, you know, you know how that is. The Galaxy A10e has 32 gigs of storage, two gigs of RAM, or sorry, 2.5 gigs of RAM, a 5.8 inch display, eight megapixel back camera, shoots up all the way to 1080p, 60 FPS, two gigs of RAM, the CPU is an Exynos 7884. It has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and I've had this for a while now and it still holds up great. 32 gigs of space. But what I want to know is how good is the cameras on these? Well, I've took some photos. I'm showing them on screen here. Now, here are some photos on the LG. I know the LG is one year behind, but these are a similar price range. And the LG is lack. It looks sometimes a bit spotty in certain areas, and like sometimes it can be oversaturated. Um, that's, just the, that's just the case. I don't know why that's the case, but it is. The A10e. Here's a video I shot the other day. This is a video on the Galaxy A10e. This is the video on the A10e outside. Now, let's do an LG video. This is a video test on the LG Rebel 4. This is a video test outside. All right, major difference. And these were taken outside and Obviously, I showed one inside as well. Um, huge, huge major impact. I mean, the camera on the A10e wins. But what about performance? Well, this is where the video gets very interesting. All right, well, what about performance of the device? I got both of them here with only one app running, and that's AZ Screen Recorder, both on airplane mode Wi-Fi. I'm gonna start recording and play Subway Surfers. I'm starting with the A10e first now. So, Subway Surf. Let's see the performance difference. I'm also going to do a GPU, or not a GPU, but a benchmark test. There's an app for that, and you can test how good your phone is. Alright, and I'm going to cut Wi Fi off on both devices now because we don't want any ads or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'm 65. Right? I mean, I do look 65, right? Not a day over. Anyway, alright, took a little bit, took a little bit to load, alright, let's see. Alright, that seems to be working pretty smooth. Ooh, they did it a little bit, they redid it. Anyway, I'm just going to wait until I die, see the performance. I mean, it's working pretty well. Graphics are working fine, I mean, no stutters. Isn't that weird? Oh, see that? I mean, I am also recording the screen at the same time, but it stuttered a little bit. It was only for a slight, like, couple of milliseconds. Alright. Let's see what happens if I let that... Alright. So that, that, that was a lot on screen. Seems to be working well. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead... Oh, wait. See, it froze a little bit when I did this. Nope, it worked fine. Alright.
Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and upload this to Drive, and I'll be right back. While that's uploading, let's look at the performance of the Rebel 4. Alright, I'm going to start recording. Yes. Three, two, one, now. Opening Subway Surf. Alright. Let's see. Is this one going to do better? It's already taking a lot longer. At least that's what I am 65 years and older. Totally. Not a day over, like I said. Um, Alright. Alright guys, so I got both the phones here. Fully airplane mode, nothing else running in the background. Fully, you know, nothing nothing going on. And the uh, A10E is at 41% currently and the LG is at 27. It's pushing them hard. Well guys, good news. The A10E is first place. Rest in peace a little LG, but it's still a good phone. It's still really fast. Fast enough for daily use. So... Don't let it deceive you. It is a perfect candidate for a mid-range phone. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a like. Wait, the same thing. Subscribe, drop a like, share it with your friends. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.